Hello everyone. Today I will be showing you how to move an object from Blender to the Sculptress, texture it in Sculptress, and then move it back into Blender. Now in Blender you can already texture objects, and I've seen it done a lot and I've tried to learn it, but once I found Sculptress it was kind of like, why am I learning it in Blender? I still intend to do that, but at this moment Sculptress does it pretty well. Uh, you open up Blender, I have Blender 2.49, and I'll do add an object, and I'll do mesh, and I'll do echosphere. Now I'm gonna export this as an object file. Sculptress can do ZBrush imports and object file, or OBJ. Now we're gonna do desktop, I'm gonna do ball, export. Export. Exit off this. We have the MTL file and we have the ball file. Now I'm going to open up Sculptress. I have Sculptress 6 Alpha and I'm going to import. I'm going to click this top. New scene. And here's the ball. Now, I can, these are all for um, drawing, flattening, rotation, crease to edit it, but we're not exactly here to do that. We're here to texture it. So we're going to go to paint, resolution 512, we're going to say OK. Now it's going to set it to paint. Once you paint, you cannot go back into edit mode. But here's a ball, and I set it for a steel texture set for blue texture and we can also set it for a colored but we don't want it colored so I have a let's go to new let's go to desktop let's go to my game hellbound that I'm working on let's go to this etching and let's go to a color let's find a color blood splatter and then you can instantaneously get it on. Now what you can do is if you have paint.net is you can mark out the white which is what I would actually do. But since here we're here to texture I want you to see everything. And so if you had paint.net and you textured it or took out the white you would then have this blood drops. So you would first texture it with like concrete, say this was a concrete ball, or the fleshy texture if this was somebody, something got shot off somebody. Now I'm going to enable another texture. So it's, we have fresh blood and then we have dry blood. I will be doing a part two to this video on how to actually make it look shiny because when you do it in Blender, it won't actually look this shiny. It'll have the texture to that. We're going to do go back to default. So it's going to look like this in Blender, which is actually not that bad. Now that looks really nice. And so what we're going to do is I have show advanced uh, uh, tools right here. Now when you go into it and it, you've load the program and you finally get to this mode it's gonna have it like this it's not gonna have anything so what you're gonna have to do is click advanced show advanced tools now to save the texture we're gonna save it as a text map we're gonna go to desktop I'm gonna say text PNG in JPEG I like PNG it's more enhanced picture we're gonna save it and then what we're also going to do is we're gonna also export the actual ball itself. So we're going to say save and it saves as an OBJ file. Change will be lost. We're done. So here's the OBJ file and here's the texture. This texture uh, has already been cut up and sequenced to work on the ball. So we don't need these anymore so I'm going to delete them. And here's the ball 101 that I saved from Sculptress. So I'm going to open up Blender, and I'm going to delete the default 
stuff. I'm going to import a OBJ file. Go to desktop and I'm going to look for ball 101 OBJ. Import. Keep the say import again. And here we go. And now we're going to go to textured mode. Now, OBJ files do not carry texture formats like 3DS files. So we're going to UV image editor. We're going to do new, open. And we're going to do, let me find it. We're going to do a text. So we're going to go down, find text PNG, and open it. And we're going to click on the ball, do tab, U, unwrap. We're going to select everything here. Now, we unwrapped it, how it was unwrapped in Sculptress. So we don't have to cut up anything or do anything like that. Now we're going to find this plus and down, up and down arrow. And we're going to go to texture PNG. And all the textures are aligned with how the actual sphere was cut up. So we untab, because in tab we're in edit mode, now we're untabbing, and we have a bloody ball. I'm going to go to this P to play. Now, what we're going to have to do also is uh, click the ball. Now go to the little sphere that says shading and exit because that's putting a default um, color onto it. We don't want that. So now we've said we want the bloodied ball texture, the text PNG texture, to be the dominant uh, texture. Now we hit play and there it is. We have a bloodied ball.